children, how are you guys doing today? Are you guys ready for ring time? Great, let's get started. Who can tell me what day today is? Today is Wednesday. And if today is Wednesday, yesterday was Tuesday. And tomorrow is Thursday. Wednesday is also the third day of the week. Let's quickly do our days of the week. We have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That is seven days in one week. And how many months do we have in one year? That's right, we have 12 months in one year. And which month are we currently in? We're in April. Let's quickly do our months of the year. We have January, February, March, April, May, June, July. August, September, October, November, December. That is 12 months in one year. Now, let's do our ABCs. A, B, C, B, E, F, G. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q, R, X, T, U, B, W, X, Y, Z. You guys are so clever. Let's do our ABC song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Great. Let's count to 25 today. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Too clever. 25 is 2 times 10 and 1 5 or 5 times 5. 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 1 last 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Who can tell me what our theme for this week is? Our theme for this week is Ocean and Under the Sea. And I love this theme because there's so much that we can do. So let's get started on our theme work. Zones of the Sea. So, a zone is like your house. But instead of going through your house, like from your bedroom to the kitchen to the lounge, you go down. So you go from the sunlight zone to the twilight zone to the Midnight zone. Let's see what lives in each zone. Oceans may be divided into three zones according to how far down sunlight reaches. To see which zone creature lives in, look down below. Sunlight zone. Sea creatures love living in the sunlight zone. Sunlight reaches down to about 150 meters deep. Most sea creatures live in the sunlight water. Sunlight reaches through shallow, shallow seas and upper lower levels of the open ocean. So what this is saying is that a lot of the sea creatures love living in the sunlight zone because that's where all of the sunlight comes through and the water is also the former in the sunlight zone. Then you have the twilight zone. And this part indicates the level from about 150 meters to about 1000 meters down. The light becomes dimmer in the twilight zone. Fact, the deep ocean, the deepest part of the ocean is the Pacific, followed by the Atlantic, then the Indian, and the shallowest ocean is the Arctic. Many sea creatures depend on ocean plant life for their food supply. That means most of the sea creatures live on plants that grow in the ocean and they don't eat the other fish. Plants need sunlight to grow, just like they do here on the land, down in the sea, they need sunlight to grow. Coral and clip only grow in sunlit sea. Octopuses and squids live in all the ocean zones, including the twilight zone. So, octopuses and squids live in all three of the zones. How interesting is that? And do you know what the difference is between octopus and squid? Although they are very, very similar, there is definitely big differences between them as well. Octopuses have eight legs, where most squids have ten legs. That's very interesting. And they also look a little bit different. An octopus has more of a round head, where a squid has more of a pointy head. More facts about octopuses, which I want to talk about today, is that there are over 300 octopuses in the ocean. That is very lucky if that the ocean is that big for so many different kinds of octopuses alone. It's not even including all of the sharks and all of the fishes and all of the squids. 
Look, potatoes. Then, octopuses also have little suckers along their tentacles. Their tentacles are their legs, and they have suckers which they use to suck onto them. Next, they also have a beak that is somewhat like a parrot's beak that they use to eat. And they also squirt out ink when they're afraid or feel threatened. That's it. Next, we have the midnight zone. Let's see what kind of creatures live in the midnight zone. I guess it's pretty dark down there. Midnight zone. Living in the midnight zone has no sunlight. No sunlight reaches below a thousand meters. A thousand meters is where the twilight zone ends. So the midnight zone is pitch black and extremely cold. The deepest part of the ocean may be more than 4,000 meters deep. This part down is known as the Abyssin. There is also trenches there where the ocean is deeper than 6,000 meters. Wow! There's also fishes down there that have a light on their head. And when the smaller fishes see the light, they swim towards it and end up right in that poor fish's mouth. <laughs> wow! How scary are the midnight zone creatures? Now, I would like to talk about what the bottom of the ocean looks like. Remember they said in the other book that they start deep at 6,000 meters? So, when you think about the ocean, do you think that it's flat? Or do you think it looks maybe somewhat like our Earth looks like? Let's find out. What's it like at the bottom of the ocean? You might think that the bottom of the ocean is smooth and flat, but it isn't, at least not everywhere. There are mountains and valleys and hills and plains, just like there are on land. Along the shore, the land slopes gently into the sea. This slope is called the continental shelf. Flat plains over half of the sea floor, they are all called Abyssinian plains. The mid-Atlantic ridge, a long line the underwater mountain in the Arctic Ocean. The trenches is deep valleys in the seabed. A sea mountain is underwater and there's also made volcanoes. Wow, did you know that it looks just like that, it's all just underwater. How interesting is that? Are there mountains under the sea? Yes, lots. And there are all volcanoes. Someone has counted about 10,000 of them, but they may be double this much. The proper name for them is sea mounts. Some are so high that they stick out of the water and make islands. So, all of the mountains underneath the ocean is all volcanoes. Wow! There are earthquakes under the sea, just as there are on land. In fact, there are over millions of quakes a year, but most of them happen so deep down that we can't even feel them. Wow! I would like to show you guys today what I made, and I'm not sure if you would like to make one of those. I made my own little octopus mobile that has fish hanging off of it. And it was super easy and fun to make. I'll send the instructions of how I made it to your mommies and daddies so that if you would like, you can make your own octopus mobiles. Now, let's quickly do our book. I'm the biggest thing in the ocean. I'm a giant squid and I am big. I'm bigger than the shrimp. I'm bigger than these mussels. bigger than this crab. I'm bigger than the jellyfish. I'm bigger than these turtles. I'm even bigger than this octopus. I'm bigger than that shark. I'm bigger than this fish. Oh. That fish, this fish, and that fish. I'm the biggest thing in the ocean. Oh, I don't think he's the biggest thing in the ocean. Oh no! Look, all of these sea creatures that he thought he was bigger than him are in there with him. I'm the biggest thing in this whale. The end.
do you know what's the biggest sea creature there is? It's a blue whale. Wow, it is enormous. Now, I would like to teach you guys a song about some sea creatures. <laughs> He has circus for his feet and he sticks to everything. Chitta 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 she has scissors for her hand and she walks to the side. Chitta 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 Next, remember I told you that blue whales are the largest creatures in the ocean? Let's find out some more about them. Meet the whales. Whales are the largest sea creatures on earth. And the blue whale is the biggest animal ever known. Whales are divided into two groups. And they are called mammals. The oldest whale has lived up to 200 years. Wow, that is a very old whale. Gentle giants. An adult blue whale measures up to 26 meters in length and can weigh up to a thousand tons. Wow, that is super heavy and so, so big. Look at the picture here. You see that this is a blue whale. And these are people diving next to us. Look how small the people look next to the whale. Even the baby blue whale is so much bigger. Blue whales spend their summers in the Arctic and Antarctic Ocean, where there is plenty of krill and plankton to eat. In winter, 
These whales travel to warm waters to breed. Females give birth to one baby every two or three years. A newborn is a calf and weighs over three times. How interesting is that? Let's see what other fun facts we can learn today. Ocean mysteries. Humans have only just begun to explore life in the sea. There is so much we do not know about some of the biggest and most beautiful marine animals. And did you know that there are people who study just the ocean and the animal life? And they are called marine biologists. Giant mystery. The ocean sunfish or mula mula weighs up to 2,000 kilograms and eat plankton. But that is almost all we know about this huge fish. Wow! And manta rays can be 6 meters across. But like the mula mula, all we know about them is that they swim the ocean eating plankton. Looks like most of the fish eat plankton. Because you have the blue whales, the mula mula, and the stingrays. And that is what the stingray looks like. And can you remember what kind of fish a stingray is? A stingray is a kind of shark. Bye bye baby. Baby turtles hatch on the sandy beaches, then disappear out to sea. We don't know what they do next, only that they return many years later to breed. So, sea turtles live in the ocean, but they lay eggs on the seashore underneath the sand. And then they leave their babies there to hatch. And somehow those babies hatch out on the beaches, find their way back to the ocean and survive. All on their own. How amazing is that? That's all we have time for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!